A new and rare dinosaur skeleton is on display at a southwestern Manitoba museum. A mosasaur skeleton has been unveiled by the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. Let's go to the centre's curator and paleontologist, Victoria Markstrom. Victoria, I understand this mosasaur is very special and very rare. Uh, yes, this is a, a very important specimen, uh, not only to the CFDC, but for the scientific community as a whole. Okay. Um, yeah, it's quite special. Yeah, so okay, so tell me what kind of dinosaur this is. Uh, this is actually a type of mosasaur um, called uh, Chrysodon. Uh, mosasaurs aren't dinosaurs, they're marine reptiles, yeah. um, which basically means that they uh, were once terrestrial an animals, but then they went back into the ocean. So um, they're a little bit different from dinosaurs. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you clarified that because I think if I just took a look <laughs> at it, that would be my first thought. Uh, Most people do mistake it as a dinosaur, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look at its teeth. I understand understand this was a mosasaur that used to eat sharks. Uh, well, if we take a look at the teeth here, uh, you can see they have a very small uh, teeth. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but they're quite thin. Um, they're, they're very thin, and that's very um, unique to Chrysodon. Um, so they probably ate more uh, soft-bodied animals like uh, fish, uh, squid, and sometimes jellyfish, maybe. So yeah, so that's kind of a unique part of the, uh, of the jaws there. Very cool. Up close and personal, right there with the Mosasaur. Uh, yes. This is the third one I understand you have on display. There's Bruce and Susie also with you guys. How does this one compare? Yeah, so uh, Bruce and Susie are mosasaurs uh, that are that have been with, with us for a while. Um, this guy uh, behind me is a little smaller. It's around uh, 3.75 meters in length. So uh, compared to Bruce, which is 13.3 meters in length. So um, uh, quite quite a bit smaller uh, than what we're used to, but it's a really great addition uh, to Mosasaur Hall. Yeah, very, very cool. Uh, I understand that this type of species also has a large pop culture presence as it has been featured in the last two Jurassic World movies and also has a presence in the upcoming Aquaman movie. Uh, do people talk about that when they come in and see them? Uh, well, uh, it's not this specific mosasaur, but mosasaurs in general have uh, had a, a large increase in um, social media attention lately. Uh, so uh, uh, mosasaurs are, uh, appeared in Jurassic World, um, uh, both of them, and uh, will be appearing in uh, the new Aquaman film. So that's mm -hmm. really, really exciting. Um, I think we've garnered a lot of attention because of that. So it's really exciting to see uh, our specimens become more more popular uh, thanks to thanks to movies and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to Hollywood. Why do you think yeah. though people are, are so fascinated by this specific type? Uh, well, I think that uh, mosasaurs in general uh, are really fascinating animals. That's why I study them. Uh, <laughs> but who doesn't like a good sea monster, right? Uh, it's really fascinating to sort of look in the ocean and wonder what kind of mysterious creatures are sort of in the depths. So it's, it's a really fun subject to, to learn about and to, to wonder about. Victoria, where will the skeleton go from here? Uh, so uh, this guy is staying with us. Um, some of the um, skeleton fragments or some of the replica fragments will go uh, to other museums to foster scientific research. So if a scientist wants to, to study a specific part, uh, we can send other replicas to other museums. But this guy uh, is staying right here. All right, so people can go check it out if they want. Victoria Markstrom, yes. curator and paleontologist at the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for so much.